All right, let's get this thing started here. Um, this is how you change a tube. Um, what you're going to need are a couple tire levers. Um, sometimes you can do it by hand, but quite often not. Um, we want to get all the air out of the tire first. I'm assuming you're doing this because you have a flat. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start first by using one tire lever. I usually pick a spot opposite of the valve. Um, sandwich it in like this and get that first bit of this off. It's getting it between the rim and the tire. And then maybe like a couple inches away, I'll start in on the next one. And at that point, it'll kind of stay by itself. I didn't right there, but do it again. A couple inches away. Do it again if you want to. Three inches away. There you go. And then what I do is I get my fingers underneath, slide it up and around like this. Um, there's no need to take the tire completely off if you're just going to switch a tube. Now we're want to pull on this about somewhere away from the valve, so like that. All right, and pull the tire away, and there you go. It's pretty easy. Um, you're going to have a new tube. I'm, this one doesn't have a flat in it, so I'm just reusing it. Um, you'd want to put a little bit of air in it to give it shape. And uh, usually I use Presto Valve, so just use your lungs and your mouth. Get a little bit of air. If you have a Schrader Valve, you've got to use Pump. Um, so just enough to give it shape. All right. So now we'll locate the valve hole on the rim. All right. And then I'm going to stick the valve back in there. Okay, and then I'm going to take the tube um, and very carefully, this is very important, you want to get the tube inside the tire so it's not pinched between the rim and the bead of the tire. So I'll go all the way around, put it in there, make sure it's you know going in all right. It's not all folded when you're doing it. Sometimes it's more difficult. Some tires are a lot more difficult than this one. Uh, it just depends on the tire and the rim. All right, and okay, now it's all the way, you know, the tube's all the way in there, like that. So now I'm going to start at the valve. I push the valve up. That just prevents it from uh, getting sunk in between the, the rim and the tire. Um, and I'm going to go around, reach up, you know, make sure that tube's not getting pinched up. Sometimes I grab on the inside like this. And just go all the way around. This is really easy. And I recommend using a smaller tube than necessary. Um, it just makes the installation a thousand times easier. Um, try to stay away from the valve. And this is the last little bit. This, this can be quite difficult. Do not use these. These are bad. You'll end up popping the tube. And I've changed about 5,000 tires in my life. And you do not want to do it unless it's absolutely necessary. All right, so this is the last little bit. And this can be quite difficult. Um, I tend to use my fingers, my four fingers, some people prefer to use their thumbs like that. Uh, I think four fingers are stronger. So I'm going to reach up and pull it on. And that was really easy. Some, are, some of you guys are going to be struggling, but that's how I do it. Okay, now what I want to do is I want to go around and make sure before you inflate it that there's no tube sticking in between the tire and the rim. So. I use white rim strips and this makes that a lot easier. Um, go around. I know it isn't because I used a tube that's smaller than required and that makes it a lot easier, a lot less prone to getting pinch flats. All right, so go around and yeah, I'll check it like this. Um, and then I usually get the pump out and I want to put maybe like 10 PSI in this. Enough to get the tire some shape. All right, and uh, I'll check again all the way around to make sure my tube is not in between the rim and the tire. And you do not want to inflate that all the way because it'll bubble out and it's like a gun going off. And it's it'll wreck your tube. Sometimes it wrecks your tire. It's not a good thing, especially if you're indoors because it's louder than hell. All right, so. Um, now I want to do, this makes it easier, i got a white stripe all the way around. 
Oh, when, the, when the tire's got a little bit of air in it, I go around and make sure that it's um, the bead's kind of sitting in the right place, and you know you don't have a where the tire's really low and then really far away from the rim. There, we want it to be you know fairly round so that when we spin it, there's no hops in it. Um, I chose a really easy project with this wheel. I've done lots of them. This one's easy, so that's why I chose this one. And uh, from there, it's uh, pretty simple. Inflate it to your desired pressure, and you're done. All right.